Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got two new items to review for you. We've got the Rhinox Deep Dig Bucket and we've got the Rhinox Rake Riddle Bucket, both of which arrived on a pallet not more than half an hour ago. So I'm very excited to go straight out and hook them up, give them a go and see what we can do for you regarding getting a video out tonight. Uh, this isn't a paid promotion. I bought these buckets myself. However, Rhinox did offer me a very good price and some discount on the product. That said, this will not sway my view on the quality or the usage of those buckets. Uh, it wouldn't make sense to sort of lie about it. So this is a real life review by a real life person. Let's go and see what they're like. Oh look, exciting, exciting delivery look from our friends at Rhinox. Let's see what they've sent. Let's get this thing opened. Let's see what we've got. Wow. So, what do we have here? We have a Rhinox Rake Riddle. Very exciting. And also a Rhinox Deep Dig Bucket. So, two things going on here. Nicely packaged, obviously steel strapping there. Just arrived on a pallet. So, we've got the, the Rhinox Deep Dig Bucket here, which is actually pretty cool. Look, they've put a little rhino. They've plasma cut out or laser cut out the the Rhino logo into it. That's quite clever, isn't it? We've got our quick hitch connectors here, as usual, as we might expect to see. So here's the Rhinox Deep Dig Bucket. It can only be described as the claw. It's literally just been ripped off of Godzilla's finger. Look at the size of it. It's absolutely brutal. You see here the little Rhinox rhinos logo in the side which is actually... so the claw as we shall now call it is what 75 75 mil all the way down which is quite nice absolutely perfect for something just like this water pipe which is what i've got it for people obviously use it on the pavements for their broadband and their fiber and whatever the bucket is obviously narrow deliberately so you only dig out what you need just makes sense doesn't it So what's not to like about the claw, it's an absolute surgical weapon. Having put in water pipes before with the wider bucket, it's an absolute fool's errand. Money well spent in my opinion. Um, I don't see any problems with it at all. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a solid piece of engineering that is designed to do the job. It does what it says on the tin, basically. Okay, so the claw weighs in at a 25.54 kilograms, a very manageable weight for most people. So that was a great test on this beautiful evening. Um, really happy with uh, Godzilla's finger now. Really happy with the claw. It's an absolute surgical weapon, as I've already said. It cleared that slit trench, no trouble at all. Four or five pulls through that soil and clay, and it was absolutely beautiful, ready for a water pipe. Good clean size, good clean bottom. Um, it ejected the, uh, the spoil out of the bucket, no problems. I've just been thinking about it and those little rhinos on the side which are really nice little design cues could actually be quite functional because if you needed to clear some soil or some clay from the bucket you could probably jam something in there maybe a long screwdriver or a bar or something and just wiggle out the, the stuck material so they might actually be quite functional as well as quite cool um, as for the bucket itself it's well made um, it fits on my quick hitch like you know like it was made to fit like a glove as Ace Ventura would say 
um, absolutely fantastic. I find sometimes buckets can be quite tight. You have to have the absolute right angle, right elevation. And then even then, you know, they don't always like to go on easily. And sometimes you can look a bit, you know, stupid trying to get one on there if you, if you haven't got it quite right. But they just slipped on like no trouble at all. Absolutely fine. Um, so that's a real plus point from my point of view. Um, the pins are removable. Sometimes if you get a little bit of a problem with your quick hitch, you know, you might need to remove those pins to get it off because, you know, if you can't crowd it under to make the, um, the, the the servos and the um, the switches work. Um, sometimes that can be a problem, especially with heavier kit. But this is only what 25 and a half kilograms. You know, most people can manhandle that around about the place quite nicely. So, um, from a practicality point of view, it's easy to store, it's easy to maneuver, it's easy to put on the trailer and off the trailer. And if you want to, you can manually hook it on the end of your boom. Um, really enjoyed using it. I just wish I bought one sooner, to be honest. Um, I got a fantastic price on it as well from Rhinox, so um, I have to say thank you for that. Happy digging. Stay safe. I'll see you next review. You know, if I eat any more of these, I'm going to go up the wall. <laughs>